In seven days time, I'm gonna be playing my first ever game in goal at Elland Road. And I'm pretty nervous to be honest, and I don't wanna make a fool of myself. So I'm gonna be spending the next seven days training like a professional goalkeeper, and hopefully, by the end of the week, we'll be half decent in goal. Let's just get into it. <laughs> to add more pressure to this, at the end of the week, I'll be getting a pro keeper to react to the match highlights and give me an honest review of my skills in goal. Right, day one, and I'm super excited for this week. Today, we just work on the basics, handling one week of solid training. Let's do it. It's gonna be a long week, mate. Right, to finish this session off, I'm gonna do some 1v1s, because obviously in a game scenario, they're super important. Reach me from my winter hell. I've got candles and candy. I can be your daddy if you home. Let me creep into Sorry. your prison cell. Hey, baby, can you tell? Day two, I started with some more drills on the pitch. I looked mainly at footwork. I want you to stay true. To right. When I got home, I watched some videos on goalkeeping. And then to finish off, I did some stretches to make sure I had as much mobility as possible. Right, so day three, and today is all about reactions. Oh, oh I'm just guessing, that's the thing. That's but I'm just about. guessing, mate. Well, what do you want me to do? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> After that shambles, I thought I'd better get the ball involved again. Right, day four, lovely day for it. And today we're gonna to be working on distribution. That's super important. Obviously I'm gonna be playing in a real game. So the distribution needs to be on point, throwing, kicking, making sure I make the right decisions. And I've got good accuracy so I can pass out to my players. And maybe I'll get an assist, who knows, so. Just keep in mind what I said there about the assist. That's all I'll say. Yeah, let's work on it. Right, so I've got the mini goal set up. We're going to test our accuracy, just fizzing balls out wide. That needs some more work. Right, let's do some game realistic throws. So after that session, I felt fairly confident about my distribution on to day five. Day five was a day away from the pitch and I just worked on strength work and explosive movements. Right, so today is day six and I'm not gonna lie, I am starting to get a bit nervous for the game because first time playing goal in a real game, if you make a mistake as a keeper, it's all on you. You're the one that gets the blame. So yeah, hopefully I don't make any mistakes, but yeah, let's get some rest tonight and get down to Leeds and play in the stadium. So the final thing I wanna do before playing the game, I asked my friend and professional goalkeeper for some advice, Connor O'Keefe. He sent a little video through. Let's watch it and see what he's got to say. Yes, Kieran. All right, mate. I hear your secret love of goalkeeping is continuing and you're pulling on the gloves in a proper game. Now, my top three tips ready for the game. Number one, try and talk to your defenders as much as possible. Get them to figure out the problems and solve it so the ball doesn't actually get to you. Number two, be confident. Pretend like you know what you're doing, even if you don't. You might be able to put off the strikers from actually getting a good shot away. And number three, go for everything. Even if you think you're not going to make it, just dive. Give it a go. You might yeah. surprise yourself and you might surprise us. Best of luck, mate. I am sure you will smash it, and I'm excited to see the outcome. Get them gloves on. Let's go. We're getting Kira warm right here. Oh All right, I don't think we'll have none of them in the real game, because that's disgusting. Yo. 
Bro, like when they're shooting, don't be scared. Yeah. And I want to see distribution from you as well. Yeah. To get it, grab it, boom. Out it goes. I want to see that. Yeah. Right, I'm only looking for you on the wing. My guy. So you let's do YouTube. You wait, wait for the assist. Wait for the assist. From <laughs> <Yes>. goalkeeper. <laughs> so the warm up was done and it was time to get into the final game. Going and go, what are you saying, boys? Hey, don't concede, that's all I'm saying. <laughs> oh, mate, the pressure's <laughs> on. All this training, though, for this moment, 100%. here we go. Exactly, that's all it is. Someone's got to step into the fight. You've been training for this. Yeah. Why not, yeah? Okay, so now it's time to take a look at the footage from the final game. Some stuff went down, that's all I'll say. I may or may not have made a massive mistake. We're about to find out. For context, we were playing a team called Andy's Man Club, which are doing great things for men's mental health. So if you want to learn more about them, I'll leave a link in the description below. So we start the game off, just a normal kickoff. I'm thinking at this point, I'm not very confident at all. It suddenly feels quite exposed there with a lot of people around. This is the first time the ball comes into me. I'm thinking, what I would do. I probably could have maybe come and claimed that a bit more, been a bit more assertive there, but yeah, I didn't. I got the ball eventually, rolled it straight out. Nice bit of distribution. Now the first half, a lot of the time, I was just standing there a lot like that. Now this is the first time I had a cross in the box and I did not deal with this well. Let's take a look. So the ball comes in. What is going on there? Oh, no. no sort of conviction behind that. Fortunately, he didn't score the header, so I got away with that one, but it wasn't good. And then we had a penalty. Forgot about this. So I was thinking I could save this penalty, be a bit of a hero. First time in goal, save a pen. Let's see what I've got. Oh, I was close. I got a hand to it ball straight down the middle and unfortunately I didn't save it, it was a good penalty but yeah that could have been absolute Hollywood that and then it was half time and that was pretty much all I had to do in the first half. Not too much stuff, mainly just with the ball at my feet. Well play keeper. All right, first half not been the busiest for me, my team outfield have been really good. I had a few distribution work to do, apart from that not much so yeah let's see what we got. Into the second half, this is where the teams changed a bit so we had a lot more attacking threat from them in the second half. And straight away, you can see he went for a shot from the halfway line. Luckily, it went wide, but that could have been pretty embarrassing for me. Ball comes through, come and claim it, and then kick it out straight back to them. That's not great. Ball comes back to me, claim it, pick it up. Nice bit of distribution. And here, remember what I said at the start, assist for SV2. Wait, wait for the assist, wait for the assist. <laughs> I mean, he did all the work basically, but technically, I got an assist from goalkeeper position, so I'm taking that, I'm taking it. Comes across, what am I doing? Boom, saves it, and then defender clears it. That was, that was okay, to be fair. Yeah, straight away, second half, as I told you, there was a lot more attacking threat from them. And bang, I score a goal. I conceded. I should have done better there. Not good enough, that, for me. Just, I don't know if I just had my angles wrong in the goal. I didn't quite know where I was, but I left him far too much space on that side. Good finisher. Next up. Through again, come out and clear it. That's pretty good, I'm happy with that. Another one here, comes and claims it, clears it. Good stuff that. Good touch, great touch from Harry there. Comes and claims the ball. Nice bit of distribution there. Okay, now this is where it gets really bad for me. So as you can see, defenders, no one's really paying too much attention. Quick free kick. I'm thinking that's not a problem, you know. Comes across. Happy days, get rid of it, just boot it up the pitch. But no, I pass it to their defender at the edge of the box. Chips me, good finish, oh god. That was shocking. Let's take another look at that. You gotta look at what I'm gonna do, not paying attention for a start. Oh no, that's not good, that is, that was not good at all. Great little touch onto their player there. Decent save, I'll take that. And then this time, a bit more composed, and passes it to one of our players. Another attacking threat from them. Ball comes down, here we go. Good positioning. That was probably my best save of the game, potentially that, I think. Like, near post, I'm thinking he could go anywhere here. Near post, covers it well, I'll take that. Never get beaten at the near post, number one rule of goalkeeping. So those are my game highlights and lowlights, but we're not done yet. I sent the top one minute of ups and downs to pro keeper Conor O'Keefe to get his reaction of the game. Right, let's have a look at these clips. Thank you for sending them across. I am excited to see how you did. 
Big long ball out of the sky. Defenders struggling. Good starting position, Kieran. Nice and confident, edge of the box. Good roll out. Great start. Cross comes in. <laughs> little bit of a flap. Nowhere near the cross. Starting position was a little bit too close to your front post, but I like the bravery that you came. You just want to try and get something on it if you come that far. Got away with one a little bit. Again, good starting position. Oh, nice kick as well. Stay big, good save. Pushed it into a good area as well. Ah, bit of a tough one. Shot from the edge of the box. Might have been a little bit too high near the six yard box, but you went for it at least. Nice sweeping up. Probably could have picked it up. Oh. Again, I can see the preference of the feet, but what a ball into midfield. Love that. Good throw as well. Distribution's very strong. I'm impressed. Ball across. Oh no. <laughs> you, you can pick that one up. That's a tough one. You don't want to pass it straight to them when you're out your goal. Unlucky though. Stood up well. Didn't commit. Reacted to the shot. Stayed deep. And again, held your front post well. Shot on the angle. Didn't dive early. That's a good save. Redeemed yourself. Well played, mate.